What is this angled line on the left side of the nebula that scientists have never been able to detect before? And what astonishing scientists discovered in this exoplanet that stunned the astronomers? Stay with me as there are more secrets for you to learn about these new web images. NASA launched its most powerful telescope on December 25, 2021, and after a seven-month wait, NASA released the first picture of James called Deep Field. It shows a clear view of a galaxy cluster named SAMC0723 that we've never seen before. Webb just needs 12.5 hours to capture this high-resolution image. Hubble, however, takes weeks to capture this image, which is not as clear as Webb's. This shows Webb's ability to create history. Astronomers will use this huge telescope to answer some of the most puzzling mysteries, such as what dark matter is, and if there is life on other exoplanets. Webb will tackle all of these challenges in the following years. For the time being, let's look at Webb's first picture, the deep field, which is the deepest and clearest infrared image of the distant universe to date. This picture of galaxy cluster is rich with information. Thousands of galaxies, including the tiniest infrared objects yet detected, have emerged in Webb's perspective for the first time. This deep field picture was captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, is a composite of photos collected at multiple wavelengths. Because light takes 4.6 billion years to reach us, we see 4.6 billion light years in the past. This galaxy cluster's combined mass works as a gravitational lens, amplifying considerably more distant galaxies behind it. Webb's near-infrared camera has sharpened those distant galaxies, revealing previously unseen phenomena like star clusters and hazy regions. Soon, researchers will begin to learn more about the galaxy's masses, ages, histories, and compositions, as Webb seeks the earliest galaxies in the universe. This picture contains stars with spikes. They are the stars of our own galaxies, more like the objects sitting on our noses. Focus on the galaxies that caused the lensing. The brilliant white, elliptical galaxy in the middle of the image and smaller white galaxies scattered around the image. Gravity holds them together in a galaxy cluster, bending the light from galaxies that appear in the vast distances behind them. The combined mass of galaxies and dark matter acts like a cosmic telescope, magnifying, contorting, and sometimes mirroring individual galaxies. Mirroring is visible in the prominent orange arcs to the left and right of the brightest cluster galaxy. These are lensed galaxies, meaning each galaxy is represented twice in one arc. Webb's picture shows their luminous centers, surrounded by stars and orange star clusters. Some galaxies in this region are stretched rather than mirrored. Others seem dispersed due to interactions with neighboring galaxies, leaving trails of stars in their wake. Webb has improved the degree of detail seen across this field. One galaxy containing star clusters shows towards the bottom of the brilliant central star's vertical diffraction spike, just to the right of a long orange arc. Draw a line across its wings, mirroring top to bottom. To roughly match up its star clusters. Researchers can analyze this galaxy in precise detail because it is so magnified and its individual star clusters are so sharp, which was previously not feasible for distant galaxies. The galaxies farthest out in this scenario, the tiny galaxies lying far behind the cluster, do not resemble the spiral and elliptical galaxies visible in the local universe. They're clumsier and less regular, Webb's highly detailed picture might aid astronomers in determining the ages and masses of star clusters in these faraway galaxies. Finally, Webb's planned observations will aid scientists in better understanding the formation and growth of galaxies in the early universe. NASA showed a transmission spectrum of a hot exoplanet after the condensed deep field picture. WASP-96b is a hot Jupiter with a mass less than half of Jupiter and a diameter 1.2 times of Jupiter. 
The temperature on this planet reaches 1000 degrees Fahrenheit or 540 degrees Celsius. The planet circles its star every 3.4 days and is about 1150 light years away from Earth. A transmission spectrum captured by Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph from a single observation, reveals atmospheric properties of the hot gas giant exoplanet WASP-96b. A transmission spectrum is created by comparing starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere as it passes across the star, to unfiltered starlight observed while the planet is alongside the star. Each of the 141 data points, white circles, on this graph shows the quantity of a specific wavelength of light, that the planet blocks and absorbs. Based on the absorption pattern, the positions and heights of peaks on a planet's surface, researchers may identify and analyze the number of essential gases in its atmosphere. Each gas has a characteristic set of wavelengths it absorbs. The atmosphere's temperature can be calculated based partly on the height of the peaks, a hotter planet has taller peaks. Other characteristics, like the presence of haze and clouds, can be inferred based on the overall shape of different portions of the spectrum. The gray lines extending above and below each data point are error bars, showing each measurement's uncertainty or the reasonable range of actual possible values. For a single observation, the error in these measurements is remarkably small. The difference between the best fit model shown here and the data reflects the additional work to be done in analyzing and interpreting the data and the planet. Although complete spectrum analysis will take additional time, it is possible to draw some preliminary conclusions. The labeled peaks in the spectrum indicate the presence of water vapor. The height of the water peaks, which is less than expected based on previous observations, is evidence of the presence of clouds that suppress the water vapor features. The gradual downward slope of the left side of the spectrum, shorter wavelengths, indicates possible haze. This is the most detailed infrared exoplanet transmission spectrum ever collected. The speed with which researchers have been able to make confident interpretations of the spectrum, is a further testament to the quality of the data. The observation was made using single-object slitless spectroscopy mode, which involves capturing the spectrum of a single bright object, like the star WASP-96, in a field of view. The next web image is of a planetary nebula, a dying star about 2,500 light-years away, known as the Southern Ring Nebula. NASA released two images of this nebula, one captured by the near-infrared camera or NIR cam, and the other by the mid-infrared camera or MIRI. A planetary nebula forms when a sun-like star ejects their outer layers at the end of their life. This cloak of dust around the second star, shown at left in red, at the center of the Southern Ring Nebula. It is a hot, dense white dwarf star. As it transformed into a white dwarf, the star periodically ejected mass, the shells of material you see here. As if on repeat, it contracted, heated up, and then pulsated, unable to push out more material. At this stage, it should have shed its last layers. So why is the red star still cloaked in the dust? Was material transferred from its companion? Researchers will begin to pursue answers soon. The bluer star at the right in this image has also shaped the scene. It helps stir up the ejected material. The disk around the stars is also wobbling, shooting out spirals of gas and dust over long periods. This scene is like witnessing a rotating sprinkler finished shooting out material in all directions over thousands of years. Webb captured this scene in mid-infrared light, most of which can only be observed from space. Mid-infrared light helps researchers detect objects enshrouded in dust, like the red star. This mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, image also offers incredible detail, including a cache of distant galaxies in the background, most of the multicolored points of light are galaxies, not stars. Tiny triangles mark the circular edges of stars, including a blue one within the nebula's red bottommost edges, while galaxies look like misshapen circles, straight line, and spirals. This near-infrared image captured by NIR CAM shows a very bubbly view of a nebula with its structured shells also visible. 
The orange hue represents the newly formed molecular hydrogen during expansion. At the same time, the blue haze signifies the hot ionized gas heated by the core of the host star. Focus on that brilliant angled line that, as I have mentioned, appears to be a gas filament from the nebula itself. When scientists analyzed the light source, they discovered it was a distant edge on galaxy. It is a galaxy that no telescope has ever seen before, and Webb's success in capturing the galaxy through the gas and dust is outstanding. More mysteries will be revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope in the following years. Can it detect life on exoplanets, or give us a clean glimpse of a black hole? Share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.